Hi, thanks for choosing Cincinnati Bell. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to perform the self-installation of the Zyxel 4381 gateway. First, let's take a look inside the box. You will find the gateway itself, a yellow Ethernet cord, a blue Ethernet cord, and a power supply. Before you begin the install, you need to locate the Phyoptics wiring in your home. Your house may have had a data jack installed. Here's an example of a few of our data jacks. Many times the port will be blue, or in some cases, orange. But most of the time it is labeled data jack. Many times you can find your data jack in a basement or installed in a home office. Next, your other option is an ONT. If you do not have a data jack, you will have an ONT supplied. Many times you will find the ONT in a basement or a garage. On your screen are three of our most common ONTs. Keep in mind, if you're looking in your basement to see if it was installed there, check near the ceiling. Sometimes these are installed on support beam. Now let's talk about how to connect the gateway to the ONT. Start by locating the Ethernet cable, in this case the blue one, and you're going to take one end of that cable, plug it directly into the back of the gateway, where it says Ethernet WAN. Then take the other end and plug it directly into the ONT. If you're using a data jack, you're going to perform the same process. However, instead of plugging into an ONT, plug the other end directly into your data jack. The next step is to connect power. Locate your power cord, plug it directly into an electrical outlet, and the other end directly into the gateway. If you plan to connect directly to a computer, grab the other Ethernet cord in your box, in this case yellow, Locate the back of your gateway and select any open port, in this case number one. Plug the yellow cord directly into that slot. Take the other end of the cord, plug it directly into your computer. Now that everything has been connected, let's verify all of your connections are good. Once the gateway is turned on, the lights will start to flash. At the top, you will know everything is fine when you see the power light, a solid green. Next, the green indicator light that says Ethernet LAN will turn on intermittently if you have connected the yellow cable to a computer. In this case, we did. That is why the one is lit up. As you move down further, the Ethernet WAN will turn on intermittently during the process of connecting the gateway to the Phyoptics network. When the light has changed to green, you have a good connection. When the indicator light that says internet turns green, that means you are officially connected to the internet. Congratulations. Your Zyxel 4381 comes with built-in Wi-Fi. In order to connect to your Wi-Fi, find your gateway and look on the back. You'll see a white label. On this white label, there'll be something called an SSID. That is also your network name. Below that is the WPA2 passkey. That's your wireless network password. In order to connect your computer to your Wi-Fi, go into your Wi-Fi settings on your computer or any device, search and find that SSID name, select it, enter the password when prompted, and now you're connected to the internet. If you ever need any additional support, Cincinnati Bell has several options. You can call the number that you see here listed. You can chat or visit a store. Or you can also visit our website and look for the Help Center, where you can find multiple videos, FAQs, and troubleshooting tips. 
Don't forget to search and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more support and tutorial videos. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was helpful.